kinetic separations of mixtures using um, zeolites or metal organic frameworks are of great industrial interest. My objective today is to analyze kinetic separations using matrix algebra and matrix calculus. For background on kinetic separations, I refer you to my paper in ACS Omega 2019. For background on um, matrix algebra and calculus, consult uh, the textbook multi-component mass transfer that I co-authored and this was published in 1993. Further background on uh, kinetic separations is available on my um, YouTube video titled um, What Drives Kinetic Separations? An important characteristic of uh, kinetic separations is that for binary mixture uptake within um, crystals of zeolites and morphs, the uh, transient uptake of the more mobile component experiences a pronounced overshoot. As an example, I show here experimental data for uptake of nitrogen and methane in LTA4A zeolite at a temperature of 194 Kelvin. The bulk gas phase contains um, 50 kilopascal each approximately of uh, either component. We note that the uh, component loading of nitrogen experiences a pronounced overshoot and uh, equilibrates to a lower loading with the uh, progression of time. Methane experiences a monotonic approach to equilibrium with, without any uh, undershoot or overshoot. Here's another example of um, uptake of CO2 and ethane in DDR zeolite that consists of cages separated by eight ring windows. Experimental data were obtained at a temperature of uh, 298 Kelvin and the partial pressures of um, both components in the uh, bulk gas mixture is uh, 20 kilopascals. The more mobile CO2 experiences an overshoot in its uh, loading and uh, as uh, time progresses the component loading decreases to its equilibrium loading. The uh, ethane equilibrates in a um, monotonous manner. Here's experimental data for the same mixture CO2 ethane and DDR zeolite but with different partial pressures. The partial pressure of CO2 is 40 kilopascal and the partial pressure of ethane is 20 kilopascal. Again we see a uh, pronounced uh, overshoot in the loading of CO2 during the initial uh, stages of the uh, transient uptake. The uh, modeling of the uh, transient uptake requires the uh, solution of the uh, partial differential equation describing the uh, spatio-temporal development of the molar loadings Q sub i for each of the components. The uh, partial derivative of the molar loading with respect to time is related to the uh, interfacial fluxes of uh, the component and the uh, flux of each component is related to the uh, chemical potential gradient of that component. D sub i is the maxwell stefan diffusivity. The modeling details are available in my uh, 2019 publication. The component uh, gradients of the uh, chemical potentials are relatable to the uh, gradients of the uh, molar loadings via a square matrix 
of thermodynamic correction factors. The off-diagonal elements of these uh, of this uh, gamma matrix has significant off-diagonal elements. Indeed, the transient overshoots are ascribable to the uh, non-zero off-diagonal elements of the uh, elements of thermodynamic uh, correction factors. So the transient overshoots are engendered by thermodynamic coupling. The uh, details of this uh, derivation of these equations and uh, drawing this conclusion is available in my publication. See also my uh, YouTube video, What Drives Kinetic Separations. The uh, second important characteristic of uh, kinetic separations is that if the component loadings for transient uptake within um, a single particle are plotted in um, composition space, the equilibration trajectory follows a serpentine path. This is the uh, serpentine path followed for equilibration of 50-50 um, mixtures of nitrogen and methane in LTA 4A zeolite at a temperature of 194 degree Kelvin. The uh, continuous solid line is the solution to the maxwell stefan equations shown in the uh, foregoing slide. For uh, Uptake of CO2 SA mixtures in DDR zeolite, the uh, component loadings when plotted in composition space also show a serpentine trajectory. And uh, this trajectory is described quantitatively by the Maxwell Stefan model shown here by the continuous solid line. The same is true for. Uh, CO2 ACN uptake in DDR zeolite when the partial pressures of CO2 and ethane are 40 kilopascal for CO2 and 20 kilopascal for ethane. We see that the uh, approach to equilibrium is not monotonous but proceeds in a uh, serpentine manner. We uh, now examine the mathematics that dictates the serpentine equilibration trajectory in uh, composition space. In uh, proceeding further, it is convenient to uh, reformulate the maxwell stefan equations by shoehorning the uh, set of equations into the form shown here, which is the uh, generalized fixed law, where we have um, defined a two-dimensional square matrix of fixed diffusivities. Th this matrix of fixed diffusivities is a product of two matrices, a diagonal matrix with uh, elements D1 and D2, which are the maxwell stefan diffusivities. This matrix is divided by the uh, matrix of thermodynamic correction factors. For the specific system, nitrogen, methane diffusing into LTA4A zeolite, the experimental data shown in the foregoing slides are described um, by the Fick diffusivity matrix shown here, where I uh, divide the Fick diffusivity matrix by the square of the uh, radius of the crystallite. We note that the off diagonal elements D12 and D21 have uh, significant magnitudes in relation to the uh, diagonal elements. The eigenvalues of this uh, matrix can be determined, and the two eigenvalues are shown here. This is the uh, larger eigenvalue. This is a smaller eigenvalue. Corresponding to each of these eigenvalues, 
we can determine the uh, eigenvector. The uh, first eigenvector is the fast eigenvector. The second eigenvector corresponding to the uh, second eigenvalue is the slow eigenvector. Now I uh, plot the uh, component loadings in composition space. The y-axis is the nitrogen uptake. The x-axis x -axis represents the uh, methane uptake. And this is the experimental data. The fast eigenvector is shown by the continuous sorted straight line. The slow eigenvector is the uh, solid blue line. During the initial transients, the trajectory followed during the transient equilibration process is dictated by the fast eigenvector. Towards the later stages of the equilibration process, the uh, trajectory is dictated by the slow eigenvector. Indeed, these two straight lines provide guide rails within which the uh, experimental uh, component uptakes must reside. And this explains the uh, serpentine character of the uh, composition when plotted in um, composition space. The uh, next step in our mathematical analysis is to transform the uh, couple differential equations described in the previous slides into a form such that the uh, equations become uncoupled. In order to do this, the uh, important step is to construct a matrix P called the modal matrix. This is a two-dimensional square matrix where the, uh, the two columns are the uh, eigenvector, first eigenvector, and the second eigenvector. This is the fast eigenvector, this is the slow eigenvector. An important uh, characteristic of the modal matrix P is that if we take the effective fusivity matrix that has uh, significant off-diagonal elements, if we pre-multiply by the inverse of uh, the modal matrix P and uh, post-multiply by uh, P, we obtain a diagonal matrix with the diagonal elements equal to the eigenvalues. And uh, if we pre-multiply the component loadings Q for components 1 and 2 by the uh, inverse of uh, the modal matrix, we obtain um, pseudo-component loadings, which I denote by QQ. The pseudo-component loadings need not have um, positive values. Indeed, in the example of um, nitrogen methane uptake in uh, LTA4A zeolite, the pseudo-component loading of methane is negative over the uh, entire equilibration trajectory. The important um, result of such uh, a transformation into pseudo-component space is that the pseudo-components equilibrate independent of partner species. And uh, for uptake within a spherical crystallite of radius r sub c, the equilibration trajectory is described by the set of um, equations shown here. And uh, each component equilibrates with its own eigenvalue. And just to remind ourselves, the two eigenvalues for nitrogen, methane, and LTA4A are shown here. I uh, plot here the uh, uptakes in terms of the 
pseudo component loadings the red circles are for nitrogen and the uh, blue squares are for uh, methane for uh, methane i plot the negative of the uh, pseudo component loading because the pseudo component loading itself is negative and therefore it is convenient to plot minus QQ2 for methane rather than QQ2. We note that the uh, equilibration trajectory followed by the uh, pseudo component loadings have a monotonous equilibration character and the straight lines are the equilibration trajectories obtained by solution of this uh, analytic equations with the two eigenvalues shown here. In uh, pseudo composition space, the uh, pseudo component loadings show a monotonous approach to equilibrium. This is the equilibrium value, this is the initial value. 